Hey everybody, welcome back here to my channel. I'm back here with the new Parkitect DLC, Taste of Adventure. Uh, again, just a disclaimer, I'm not doing a project or anything here. I am literally just playing around with some pieces and seeing what they have. And I decided to make a inverted spinning coaster. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of uh, do some more theming on it today and use some of the new pieces. So I started off with doing this, um, I did a drop track section, which can be done if you have the uh, coaster anarchy mod installed um, that allows you to use the drop track on all type uh, all types of track rather than just on the wild mouse and the spinning coaster etc and uh, so I just wanted to make like a little um, Aztec kind of ruin here like a temple so I'm using these great new pieces that they have these blocks and um, different kind of temple pieces uh, which are recolorable of course and uh, I'm just using the terrain there as well just to kind of make it a bit more ruined um, and I'm just going to try and find some other pieces and see what I can use in there uh, and to make this kind of look like a nice big piece of theming on this coaster. The uh, DLC has lots of other features, uh, I did mention a few of them in the last episode, uh, but there are some great things as well and one of my favourites being the River Rapids and I can't wait to use that in a park, I think it's going to be a great um, addition to my parks because uh, most theme parks around the world have a River Rapids and it's great to see it in the game. Maybe I'll play around with it and do another episode or something, but um, it's really cool, it's got some really good features on that one compared to the old Rollercoaster Tycoon versions that there were of River Rapids. And uh, here I'm just going to try and kind of decorate the second launch of the coaster. There's some great new, these kind of rock ruin pillars. I'm not really sure what they are, but they look like kind of rocks or ruins or kind of things. So they're really, really great. And then there's these nice kind of new um, decorative pieces as well here, which I'm going to use to put along this launch part of the track. I am using a couple mods here as well, just so you know that it's not completely vanilla. Uh, I'm using some beams here because I had them off grid, um, I've used those from the Shy Guys set. But uh, the rest of the pieces that I've used here for this build are basically the new pieces from the DLC, including the foliage here. Um, I'm just going to make a little kind of canopy here on top of the drop track section and use some of the new vines uh, to cover up these um, the drop bit. But yeah, I'm kind of, it's not 100% uh, perfect or anything like that. I'm not saying this is the best thing ever. It is just a play around. But uh, I've had really good fun using the new pieces and experimenting with some of the things. And uh, I can't wait to uh, kind of explore what I can do with these pieces uh, in the next kind of park that I build. Um, I'm maybe thinking of doing like a large indoor park maybe similar to something like the American Dreamland in New Jersey that just opened. Uh, having something like that with a big Eurofighter or something. Um, I know some people out there have done some indoor parks as well which are great and uh, I've also made a couple indoor parks before as well but I am uh, kind of had the idea to do a really big indoor park and use a lot of these new features from the DLC in there, uh, some of the new theming as well and some of those new flat rides that we have. Um, I have placed a flat ride here as well in this little kind of area that I've built which I'll show you in a second but um, that's looking kind of cool so far. I'm just going to kind of finish up some of the kind of fencing and um, some of the terrain work here. I like to add some of that dark green around the edges and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's looking really cool. There's some new little detail kind of add-on pieces that they have in the game here which you can add on to some of the buildings. This new archway is really cool as well which you can use for various things. Here's the flat ride that I've placed. This is the clockwork I believe. Um, this is based on a new um, Zamperla kind of attraction that they have at Coney Island. And I must say the ride does look very impressive. The real thing as well looks impressive off-ride. Off I'm not sure if the on-ride experience is so thrilling or not, but um, I definitely think it's a good little ride. It's definitely great to see it in the game, seeing as the real ride is actually so new. Um, so that's a really cool addition. I'm not going to go ahead and custom support this um, coaster, that's something I normally do with my main projects but this was like I said just a play around so I don't want to waste too much of my time um, custom supporting the whole thing because doing that really does take a lot of time. Uh, there are some new lamps as well, I wasn't 100% uh, into those lamps, I'm not the biggest fan of them so I've just used some of the torch flames and things. But I'm just going to let the coaster run around now so you can watch it in real time. I am sorry if it's a little bit laggy because um, you know my computer's not the best, I say it every time. But uh, let's just see this coaster now uh, do a nice complete circuit of the track. And I will show you a see-through look as well of the drop track just so you can see that in action. Um, it's a really cool feature of the game, I really like it. Um, yeah, the new features are really cool. I'm going to play around some more with them and see what I come up with. Maybe start a part, like I said. Um, I think it would be uh, a cool new project to start on maybe. 
and try and get as much of those new items into that park as possible. But uh, thanks for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, please do give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I will have some more uh, videos coming out soon of my other projects that I've been working on for the past few months. The Kingdom Car recreation, as well as Maverick. I haven't uh, quite finished that yet on YouTube, but I will try and get around to it as soon as I can. But um, <clears throat> got lots of things going on. Uh, don't forget to check them out if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for joining me today and watching this. I'm just going to show you now a quick look at this new... Um, flat ride that I've placed down that comes with the DLC I think it looks really really cool really impressive like I said before but uh, yeah there's lots of new features like I said and uh, be sure to go and check it out or download it if you haven't already it's not too expensive I have said in my last episode it's around about 10 euros 12 dollars around about that price just to add these features into the game and also there's lots of mods you can download too on the Steam Workshop so thanks for joining me and I'll see you all next time for another episode on my channel bye <laughs>